Welcome to Winair Video and a deep look at Nexstar Energy's shift from EV batteries to ESS or Electric Storage Systems Production. The great push for electric cars is failing in Canada for several reasons. I do believe they will at some point be integrated and accepted by the masses. However, changes and advancements in the technology simply haven't met the mark, and Canada's $52.2 billion investment in battery factories are looking at a dim return. Electric vehicles cost too much for most Canadians, especially during these harder economic times. That isn't the only deterrent either. The infrastructure to charge a mass adoption is simply not there and years from being adequate. Issues with cold and batteries, unstoppable fires with toxic fumes, and shorter lifespans of our traditional ICE cars can't be solved with government mandates. Trump's tariff war hasn't helped. We've seen the bad news of thousands of jobs leaving Canada. 3,000 alone in Brampton's Stellantis factory. The examples are many. Even Stellantis Assembly in Windsor is moving from the push in the EV market back to the ICE model cars to survive these troubling times. So what are these EV mega projects to do? Many subscribers have commented, and rightfully so, that the Stellantis LG Energy Gigafactory is headed for ruin unless things change dramatically. Well, maybe there is some light breaking through the struggle Canada has hung their EV agenda on, and it's not making batteries for EV cars. The Canadian data center market is projected to double from USD 11.46 billion in 2025 to over USD 22 billion by 2030, driven largely by AI high density compute workloads. Examples of AI's growth in Canada are in the TELUS AI factory, a 51 billion private investment building new NVIDIA powered AI campuses in Quebec and British Columbia to go live in 2025 and East Structures Calgary facility at 540 USD million AI ready data center to be operational by 2026. The surge in demand for energy storage systems ESS is having a substantial positive impact on jobs at the Nexstar Energy Windsor plant, ensuring sustainable employment and expanding workforce opportunities as the company pivots away from EV batteries. The government's AI compute investment in late 2024 and data center capacity growth forecast set a timeline where Nexstar's Windsor ESS battery production ramp aligns with the surge in Canadian AI data center development and associated power infrastructure needs. Orders for the safer ESS batteries in Windsor reflect this growing AI driven demand curve, expected to expand through the late 2020s as data centers scale up power usage substantially. Nexstar's plant is expected to employ around 2,500 workers with ESS-focused production ramping up in response to market shifts. Over 1,000 employees have already been hired, and the company aims to add at least 1,500 more as ESS production grows. If you have a family or friends looking for employment, they should check this out. Government funding more tax dollars have been directed to support training and upskilling for workers to transition into ESS roles, including technical jobs focused on lithium ion phosphate LFP battery manufacturing, packaging, automation, and systems engineering. The ESS pivot is driving indirect job growth as well as in partner companies, logistics, 
and local suppliers, with confirmed expansion at firms such as Mega International and a new South Korean company, DS Actomo, opening a factory in Windsor and will employ 95 employees. So, ESS battery demand is helping to protect and expand Windsor's workforce, supporting thousands of Nexstar jobs and facilitating investments in worker training and regional economic development, despite the slowdown in the EV sector. This sounds good for Nexstar in Windsor. However, local, provincial, and federal governments continue to pour hundreds of millions of tax dollars into the stunted EV market at the same time. Is offering grants and subsidies the way to get new business to invest in Canada? If so, why? A subject for another video, I suppose. Will a shift from EVs to ESS sustain Nexstar's $15 billion tax incentive? And what about Canada's auto industry during this shift to electric storage systems? Massive Canadian investments in the frail EV market continue and the net zero mandates still create uncertainty for investment in the Canadian ICE auto industry. Nexstar may see some welcome support from ESS. However, this is not the story we were sold. It's support from another promising industry dependent on the same resource EVs depend on. The question for this video is, will ESS have similar issues with the lack of infrastructure and power to support its growth? And will the continued mandate push for EVs create a viable market for the masses? I'm not convinced, but that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Bob Jones and I will see you in the next video.